In order to solve this question, I want you to know that m raised to the power a plus b, this is the same thing as m raised to the power a times m raised to the power b. So from here, we are going to have, this will be 3 raised to the power x is equal to um, 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power 2. Now, we're going to divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x. So this will be divided by 4 raised to the power x, divided by 4 raised to the power x. Whenever you have m raised to the power x over n raised to the power x, this is the same thing as m over n or raised to the power x. Now from here, we can see this will be 3 over 4 or raised to the power x is equal to, um, this will be 4 raised to the power x times 4 squared over 4 raised to the power x. So from here, this will cancel out this. That means we are going to have um, 3 over 4 or raised to the power x is equal to 4 squared is going to give us 16. Now from here, um, when you have a function which says um, a raised to the power x, once you um, put up a logarithm function, you introduce a logarithm function, this is now going to be x log a. So from here, our logarithm function is going to be introduced in both sides of the equation, which is going to be log 3 over 4 or raised to the power x is equal to log 16. Now from here, this is going to be what? x log, now we're going to have 3 over 4, it's equal to what? Log 16. So that means x is going to be what? This is going to be log 16 all divided by log 3 over 4. Now, also, I want you to know that when you have something like log a over b, this is going to give us what? Log a minus log b. Now, having noted that, that means our equation is going to be, um, x is going to be, this will be log 16 all over, this will be log 3 minus log 4. So this is our final answer.